Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniel Langwish, and in this channel, we're focused on increasing value in tech, productivity, fitness, and lifestyle. And today we're gonna to be continuing our series through Notion and looking at how this app can increase the productivity in the various aspects of our lives. And specifically, we're gonna be looking today at relations in Notion, how to use relations and what they can do for you. And if this sounds interesting to you and you're interested in learning how to use Notion as well as other productivity and lifestyle tips, click the like button below and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all of the latest content. But with that being said, let's get into the video. So like I mentioned earlier, a relation is connecting the data between different tables that you have on different pages in Notion and bringing them together to give you the insight that you're wanting to see. So as you see on the screen here, we've got a database, just a, you know, a fake database of customers. And so what we're gonna wanna be doing here is I've got another table right here that is merchandise, you know, shoes, t-shirt, pants, shorts, socks, all that good stuff. And what you might want is let's say you're, you know, you're running uh, this store and you've got your list of customers, list of merchandise. Well, what if you want to very clearly see which customers bought which merchandise and you know which vice versa which merchandise was bought by which customers well that's where relational databases come into play so if we go back to the customers page here we can go over here and we can add a new uh, column and we're going to change it and we're going to go over here and go down to relation and when you do that, it pulls up create a relation to another database. And as you might guess, we're going to choose the merchandise database that I just showed you. So we're gonna search merchandise and boom, it pops up. And we're going to create a relation. And I'm gonna change the name here to uh, purchased uh, merchandise. So now what's awesome is you'll see if I click on the cell, it is going to pull up all of the options that we had in that table that we just linked it to. So let's say Jimmy G just uh, you know bought some shoes and pants, awesome, and Billy B, you know, he purchased some pants and some socks. Susan, she only needed socks. And Joel bought some shorts, t-shirts, pants, socks. Oh man, he needed everything. So, so then you'll see next across from each customer, we've got the merchandise that they bought. And what's awesome is each of these links is a link to the page. So, you know, you can click on it and it takes you to that page. But you'll also notice if we go back to our merchandise page, now across the merchandise, we have related to customers. You know, we could relate that to, we could name it just customers, um, inferring customers who purchased those products. So that's a really simple way of how relational databases work of connecting two databases and putting them in the same table. Now let's look at another example is a lot of people like to keep tasks lists, but also you have projects and you may want to link tasks to those projects to keep everything connected. Um, so let's actually go down to this projects list. So I've got here film notion video and you know, that's a project uh, doing that right now. Uh, we could add another project say um, let's say read a book very hard project and so then we're gonna go back to our tasks page and you think about you know tasks that might fit within those projects so we could say you know uh, for the notion video I could say research on relational databases can't spell there we go relational databases need to do that coming up here and then we're going to go over here and we're going to click relation again and once again we're going to go here and go to projects and name this projects and then 
When we click on it, you'll see Film Notion Video. Boom. It's linked. And what's awesome is now you go back to Projects and you click on Film Notion Video. It's going to have, you know, we can name this just Tasks. All the tasks that are linked into achieving that project. And uh, just to give you a little insight that kind of how I use this is, uh, you know, I like to have daily tasks um, working into making sure they're working into the goals that I'm trying to achieve. And so if I'm able to link that, you know, you set these big picture goals, but if you can link the tasks that you're doing on a day to day basis, those little tasks to your big goals, you know that what you're doing is helping you reach those goals. And I think that's a really huge usage of this. So another thing you can do when creating relations in Notion is relating a database to itself. And there's kind of two different ways you can do this depending on what you're trying to achieve. So let's uh, create an example here. Let's say I need to um, mow, uh, here we go, mow the lawn. Um, but I also, while I'm out there, I need to, you know, trim the bushes, do edging along the, along the lawn. And so one thing you can do is, you'll see these tasks aren't really a hierarchy. Like it's not like trim the bushes is underneath mow the lawn, but they're all, but they're related together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click relation here. Here we go, relation. And we're gonna actually select the exact database that we're in right now. And you'll see when I click that, it kind of gives me two options. It says I can create a new property or I can use the same property. And so create a new property is kind of if you want uh, parent tasks and, and subtasks that fit under that parent task. However, in this situation, we're actually gonna say use the same property because these tasks are related, but they're not a hierarchy system. They're just kind of things that are gonna be happening at the same time. So I'm gonna click create relation and we're just gonna say these are related. So then when I go through here, I can you know say mow the lawn is also related to you know, edging and trim the bushes. And again, it's not super effective when you only have a few things, but if you have a lot of tasks, it can be really nice to, to link things together that are related. So you know, okay, when I'm mowing the lawn, oh, I can look over, okay, I also should be edging, trimming the bushes. Um, so that's another helpful way of doing that. Now, like I mentioned, you can also do uh, parent tasks and subtasks. And I find this works best if it's not a project in subtasks, but there are individual steps in the thing that you're trying to do. So a way you could see this is like, let's add here, um, go to the uh, grocery store. And I need to do that today, cause we gotta eat. And then we're gonna below that, we're gonna say buy milk, um, buy chicken, get that bread. And we're gonna then go here to property type and we're gonna go to relation. We're gonna once again, relate it to itself. So we're gonna click tasks, but instead of clicking use the same property, we're gonna click create a new property. And so you'll see it created another column here. So we've kind of got two columns. So we're gonna say that this column is the sub task and this column is the parent task. There we go. So now what I can do is buy milk, buy chicken, get that bread is all under go to the grocery store. So if we go over here and for all of these, the parent task, we could add as go to the grocery store and go to the grocery store and go to the grocery store. And now you'll notice here under go to the grocery store, I have all the subtasks of what I need to do when I'm actually at the grocery store. So again, for something that going to the grocery store is not really a project, um, so that might still all be in that same database, but you can link things together. So when I just look at go to the grocery store, I know exactly what I'm doing when I'm going there. 
Well, there you have it, guys. I hope that was helpful in explaining kind of how relations work, and I hope that sparks some ideas for how you can use relations in your Notion system to help increase your productivity and create the uh, views that you're looking for. And like I mentioned earlier, if you're interested in this stuff and you want to keep learning about Notion, definitely stay tuned to the channel as we're going to keep moving through and just teaching how, how does Notion work. But that's it for today, guys. Until next time.